Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my loves. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. I'm smelling Gemini. <laughs> Scorpio, if you found this message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love. Or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifa. Pay it no mind, okay? Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. Absolutely. All right, guys, quick announcement. Um, as of the first, all collective readings will be through membership, Boomstick Energy Level. Um, that's for the dailies, okay? If you're coming in on a leap of faith, you will still get some. You're just not going to get uh, them all, okay? Um, if you don't see a button to join, I have contacted YouTube. I'm waiting for a response because for some reason, the join button appears and disappears. So... Uh, let me know in the comments if you're seeing it, you know, and if you're interested, great. I definitely would love to have you. It's going to be a whole lot more content. Like I said, you'll get the daily collectives and a whole bunch of other tidbits. Okay. Now let's talk about your energy. Um, coming into your energy, it, high anxiety. I have to say that, um, some of you have just sour stomachs, maybe a, a virus or something. Others of you are definitely pregnant. Congratulations. Okay. But either way, you kind of tore me up <laughs> trying to connect with you today. I have to say that. Love you guys, but give me a second to regroup here. Hello? <laughs> All right. Um, there's a feeling of the sky is falling here. Like, you know, I don't know if you're it, like a fear of failure, a fear of what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, you know, that's how this is coming into your energy. So we definitely want to calm down that anxiety because God does not give us a spirit of fear. That is a trick of the enemy. Okay. So let's see what's going on. We're pulling from angels and ancestors. Scorpio, please. And thank you. There's Lord. Take charge with authority. You are in control. You have to use your power. Okay. Underneath coming in, I have a trader. This is an exchange of energy to create abundance. So networking, teamwork, making the dream work. Also, if you have a support system that says, you know, let me, I'll take on some of that burden for you, some of that worry so that we can make this thing work together. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, when you're calling in abundance in your life, remember I was saying it's like a fear of failure here. When you're calling in abundance and you operating in fear, that's all you're going to bring yourself is foolishness. Okay. You have to take charge over your emotions. And if you feel overwhelmed, have a healthy place to release it so that you can stay proactive instead of just like kind of frozen in fear. Okay. Shield maiden coming in for plans and focus. I love that energy. And then a wise one growing within your current situation. Once you, as you learn more about yourself, more about your abilities to control yourself, more about the power that you have uh, to enact your abilities to control yourself. That's how you master what you're manifesting, okay? All right, let's do your spread. We're gonna use light sears today. Let's see, what slipped out? Yeah, the Queen of Swords is slipping out. Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. You might have a Libra Gemini or Aquarius that's trying to assist you with this information. Maybe they're trying to teach you or they're telling you something like, hey, Scorps, try this, try that. And it might hurt what they say, but remember that sword 
is to teach you. It's not to ridicule you, embarrass you, or no way, shape, or form. It deals with facts. That sort of truth deals with facts because it only expects facts. So it gives facts. Center energy, please, Scorpio. Center. Nine of Pentacles, independent, taking charge. And see, these are independent energies. You're a whole mother loving person by yourself. You understand me? And if you have a great relationship, great. I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying that as an individual, you're the bond.com. Okay, you're standing there with this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is pre Empress energy, by the way. It's an energy of abundance, it's an energy of truth, knowing your power, knowing where you stand, <laughs> and literally being in a place where you say, God, I thank you for all that you've done for me. I know I don't have everything I want just yet, but in the meantime, I'm really good right now. You know, it's highly intuitive. But at the same time, you're stressing out. Look at the nine of swords at the bottom. So what the heck is this? That's what I'm not getting, Scorpio. You understand? You see this fear and anxiety, sleepless nights, worrying, doubt. It's like on one foot out the door, you walk it out great. And then you take two more steps and it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What am I going to do? What, am, what is about this? What about that? I mean, seriously, what is that? Okay, let's crown this energy. See if we can get some more details. Crowning, please, for Scorpio. What's hanging over their heads right now? The Knight of Cups. Love. And uh, love. I don't know if you're worried about whether your love is uh, valid. Is this the one? Is this love offer real? Will it stay? Whatever the case is, temperance is coming in with it. You might have a love connection that's helping you heal, that's helping you keep balance. So you might be afraid to lose this connection, okay? But the power shouldn't be in this connection. It was nice if you first of all got maybe motivation from this connection, but the power should be in you. You are the base, okay, as an independent. But if you do have a love connection and it is healthy and it doesn't have to be a companion, I'm talking about friendship, family, whatever, uh, somebody that you have a decent amount of emotion for and they reciprocate that emotion, be honest with that connection. And maybe that's an earth angel trying to help you heal with your emotions. Okay. But what you don't want to do is put the power of your healing based on that connection. The power always has been and will be with God, okay? What's working against Scorpio? What's in, okay. The seven of swords in reverse and the world. If I'm open and I'm honest, you know, and I put, uh, I expose myself, you know, will my world come crashing down? Will this end? Yeah, but you know, I, I, I get it. That's a serious fear. There you go at the bottom, death energy. So that's you, death and rebirth, you know? What happens if I expose everything and my world comes crashing down? Remember I said earlier, I said, it's like you're saying like the sky is gonna fall. That's, that's what this is. But that has to change. This is a mindset that you have, Scorpio. This is you working against the development of yourself, okay? This is not an attack. This is not uh, some type of uh, this, that, and a third. This is you. This is one of your cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs moments, okay? Love you, all right? But you have to walk away from that, okay? And really focus on um, the better things. Did you have a past? Did you have things happen to you? Yes, you've been through some blood, sweat, years, and tears. But you realize that, you know what, as long as I'm operating in that energy, that I'll never grow. And you walk towards the sun and you say, I know there's better for me out there and healthier connections. But in order for that to happen, you have to actually be active in that energy and take charge over your emotions. Where's this coming from? What brought this on for Scorpio? Four of Pentacles, holding on to too much shit. 
and the Knight of Wands. So you may have got played and, <laughs> by a professional too, King of Wands at the bottom. You might have got played before. I ain't going to lie, Scorps. I love you. We talking. Okay. You might have got played. You might have got played a couple times. Okay. Um, you also may have had... There's it's some self. There's a lot of selfish energy here. I have to say that you may have been given to somebody that wasn't returning, because they're this knight and this king is very very selfish. I have to say that Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I mean, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy. Okay, so one of them may have been really really like playing with your feelings with that Knight of Wands, and they may have left you scarred. It could have happened, but what you can do in adopting that fire with them, because we all have the ability to embody any energy at any time, okay? What you can do is adopt some of that fire with this king and put that focus on you. That's probably how you even got out of this. You said, I'm going to start living my life, doing my thing, loving myself, focusing on my future. You adopted this energy, stepped into this nine of pentacles, but it's almost as if you're saying this is too good to be true. So now you're trying to worry yourself out of your blessing. What kind of shit is that? Hello? Future energy, please, for Scorpio. Where are we going with this? Future energy, please. Where are we going? The hangman, Piscean energy. So it looks like you're going to step into a new perspective. And I like that because that's how we learn. You know, you got to see, maybe this is how you're going to see your way out of the situation to kind of learn a different view, a different viewpoint. The hangman is a very still energy. Okay. Um, it is an energy of like a different perspective, seeing both sides of the coin, both sides of the street, both sides of the fence, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Empress is sitting at the bottom. So it's definitely an elevation in your life going from pre-empress to empress after you take the second look. Um, but you, as you can see the belly, I already told you guys, congratulations. Keep in mind that fertile energy of the empress does not always mean um, a pregnancy or a new life coming in. What it is, is it births life-changing events. So what you're going through right now is a growth spurt. Okay. It really is. It might be because of a move or a change in employment, whatever it does, it makes you look back at yourself and say, I want that. I don't want that. I definitely want that, but I don't want that. And I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to start doing that. You understand what I'm saying? So I definitely like the growth because that growth and the fact that you start really taking charge, it allows you to be a better you. Okay. With that Empress energy. Four of Wands coming behind it, so we start to celebrate, we start to live. If you are in a relationship, it might be going to the next level, you know, maybe moving in together, getting engaged, or what have you, things like that. Most importantly, if it's not about relationships for you, it's about balance. 1111 energy is balance. It's you really starting to get balance with who you are, what you're capable of, what can hurt you, and what absolutely has no mother loving power. You know, that's what's important about that. Because when you get that within yourself, God starts moving in your life. Here's your chariot coming. Here's the Uber, Cancerian energy. So, you know, the chariot is driven by the angel. So you don't have a say over where, uh, how it's getting there, but you do have a say over the destination. The chariot has no brakes. It doesn't stop until it reaches its destination. That's how this energy works. And it looks like it's taking you to the Queen of Pentacles, which is an energy of being grounded, really focusing on your future, focusing on your coins, getting good at your job, start planning for everything that's coming. So what what happens when everything goes good? Here come the devil. And that ain't that typical. That's just so damn typical. You know what's the difference between the devil coming in your life now rather than any other day? You have now some power. You know how to juggle this mother lover. You understand balance. Two of Pentacles, you're handling things. It's like, okay, I know my emotions are messing with me or, you know, I might used to drink a lot. So I, that drink might be calling me or, yeah, I might be addicted to this, maybe some gambling. Whatever the case is, the devil just brings toxic energy. You know, it might be an old relationship. It might be lust, whatever the case is. But with the Two of Pentacles coming behind it, this is you 
exercising your power. I know how to handle you now. Okay, I know how to handle you now. And that really boosts you up. Look at that emperor energy. Once you know how to handle the toxic, uh, even way of thinking about yourself or toxic people, places and things around you, it truly bosses you up with this control emperor energy. He embodies all four kings. Okay, he's the boss, the CEO. This is the bomb.com right here. Hello. <laughs> so you start really now starting to enjoy life. Three of Cups energy coming in. Clarity coming in with that Ace of Swords. Also the ability to cut ties if you need to. That Ace of Swords is beautiful, beautiful knowledge, divine knowledge coming in about what you know, you really want in life or out of this life to be happy. You know, emotional fulfillment with this Ten of Cups. Just be mindful of your emotions because... Yeah, typically I would say this Ten of Cups is really, really happy and, and it does represent that. The problem with this, this all this water, I can feel the, the, my chest tightening up literally as I'm holding this card. You have to control your mother lover emotions. We got to get that. If you need to see somebody do that, if you need meds, get it, whatever the case is, that has to stop. Because if you're going to stroke yourself out or have a heart attack, just make sure I'm not connected to your energy because I ain't trying to pass out on the floor and, and I'll be in here because you on a damn floor. Hello? I'm just saying you better get it together. Protect your peace. Look at that nine of wands. Protect your peace. Protect your peace. Protect your calm. Protect what peace of mind you got. Hello? Protect that. Divine intervention coming in. If you don't do it, God will. I'm going to say this again. This is your energy, Scorpio. If God is telling you to do something and you don't do it, that means that he will intervene. You know this. You know this. So if your uh, anxiety, if God is saying, let, let's say, work on your anxiety or work on your finances or work on your family or work on uh, whatever the case is, and you're set, you're not doing it, and, or you're basing it on this love connection, that love connection will sever. This lightning will strike that connection because you need to understand whatever you're using as a crutch, he will remove the crutch. That's what a tower does. Lightning strikes, whatever you put time, energy, effort, blood, sweat, years, tears into, it will crumble to a pillar of sand. You understand me? Because it's built on faulty foundation or it's built in a place that uh, you were meant to go further and it's blocking your path. You understand? So that intervention has to happen. And look what comes behind that. That's you under emotional control, the King of Cups. So you can control this. I, I, and that's look at your new journey and a boomstick. Guys, I cannot make this up. Know who you are. Because either way, you're being blessed. If you want to keep that connection and it's real, then own your, your own, you become that King of Cups. But if God has to make you this King of Cups, it's going to come with a tower. Okay? But other than that, new beginning. Full energy, clean slate. All right? Boomstick energy here. So it's creative, passionate, uh, forward moving, powerful energy here. That poom poom stick. You know what I'm talking about. Moving into two seven, seven of wands, seven of pentacles. Yeah, you're just really growing. I, I don't know how else to say it. And you're doing it beautifully, guys. But God doesn't give you a spirit of fear. And it looks like that issue with you is being addressed. So own your strength, own your power. Know that you're in control. And if this is not about, let's say, anxiety in a sense or love, uh, and this is about work you know, or this is about maybe uh, your family dependent on you, whatever the case is, know who you are, you know, hangman energy, remember, gives you a different perspective. This different perspective is coming in. So, so you might talk to somebody and they say, well, what about this? And how about that? And try this, try that, try it, try it. Okay. Cause it looks like it's going to help. All right. I'm going to leave this here. Now, if any of it, you say, green eyes, I don't know you. You don't know me. And this is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please 
check your moon or rising, but don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for someone else. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. As I said, if you want to join uh, and become a member, I am looking into that just in case you don't see the button below. But if you do, Boomstick Level Energy is the one that's going to get you the daily collectives, okay? Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time.